Hey guys, Amy Rose here from AMC Movie News, coming to you from the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood for the world premiere of Oz the Great and Powerful. I am standing on the yellow brick road. They're going to be opening up things shortly and we're going to talk to some actors just for you. Stay tuned. Was it cool working with Sam Raimi? It always is, because I've known Sam since 10th grade. Back together again. For the 18th time, yeah. There's like not one movie star in this. There's like four movie stars in this movie. This is huge. So how cool was it to play a flying monkey? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because also I got to, you know, it wasn't just like my voice. I got to be on set and like interacting. And it was like being a kid again, you know, getting to act like a, they say, okay, now you're a flying monkey. And that's the fun of being an actor. You're like, okay. Flying monkey, and just kind of running with it and improving with James, and it was a lot of fun. If you were to play a different character in the film, who would you like to tackle? Oz. <laughs> the monkey, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very happy with my part. I mean, I liked, I liked being the good witch. Um, you know what, the coolest part for me was getting to be on the set and see the sets and, and work with Sam Raimi and work with James Franco, Mila Kunis, Michelle Williams, Zach Braff, Rachel Weisz, like everything. It was, it was crazy. And you know, the director Sam Raimi was just brilliant. What was it like playing one of the most iconic villains in film history? Um, well, I think she's kind of a new character, Evanora, so I didn't feel like I had anything to live up to, so I just created my own version of a very, very, very bad girl. Nicole working with Sam Raimi? He's the greatest. He's the sweetest. Sweetest. I love working with Sam Raimi. I, I think he's one of the greatest directors, and we had such a great time in Detroit for six months, and he's so passionate about the films that he chooses and the projects, and, and, um, and he's great. He's just really, really great and, and so collaborative. So it's really a screenplay in, inspired by the Land of Oz, by the works of Frank Baum, but it's, um, it's an original work. So when you say it's um, the land we know, it is. It's all of Baum's creations, his characters, his world. But it's an original story uh, that I don't think the audience is aware of yet as to who the wizard was and how he came to be the wizard. What was it like to be part of the origin tale of like one of the most iconic films ever made? I mean, in some ways it was an honor, and um, in other ways it was, you know, I, I guess I did feel a little bit of pressure. Uh, but once you get in the middle of making a film, you know, you don't, you can't really think about the reception or um, criticism. You're just kind of there making the best movie that you can. And um, so once I was on board with Sam and the other actors, uh, we're just there trying to make something good, I guess. So what's at the end of the yellow brick road? Friendship. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.